Welcome to the Vigorous q and I'm Coach Steve, here to answer all your bodybuilding related questions. Today's question is from Slick Rick, 1122. Hey Steve, any thoughts on micronutrients and gear side effects? I was wondering which best food to include to keep cholesterol in the healthy range and blood pressure in check. Doses are always low, but rather stay safe than sorry. All right, so that's going to be a very broad question. Um, Keep cholesterol in check and blood pressure in check. All right. So, he's on low dosages. So, I'm going to assume that whatever you're taking, or whatever he's taking, is not going to increase cholesterol that much or blood pressure that much. So, a very simple way to keep cholesterol in range is by adding enough dietary fiber to your uh, food intake to make sure that the cholesterol gets detoxified from the liver into the bile acid into the intestinal tract then binds to the fiber and gets excreted in stool yeah so now you lose cholesterol and then hoping that you don't take uh, a heavy androgen uh, winstrol uh, trembolone halotestin etc 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 that tells your body to produce more cholesterol as long as you're not taking that, yeah, you stick to a, a testosterone, an androlone, a proviron, anavar, that kind of stuff. Doesn't for most people it doesn't change their lipid profiles that much unless they go into the really, really, really high dosages. Yeah, again, cholesterol changes are also very dose dependent. So if you keep your do doses moderate and you stay with reasonably safe and low side effect anabolics at low dosages, your cholesterol shouldn't change that much, and fiber intake should be enough to prevent total cholesterol from increasing and HDL from going up. Now LDL, or sorry, from LDL from going up and HDL will still go lower. And because you're on steroids, HDL will still go lower. You can mitigate that a little bit by keeping your estrogen at the top of the reference range, um, by doing infrequent injections, yeah? Infre not, not too frequently, because frequent injections will lower your estrogen levels. Infrequent injection, HRT twice a week, Monday and Friday, half your dose Monday and Friday, should keep your estrogen reasonably elevated, your HDL high, and your six more body globulin from dropping too low. If HDL is still low, look into citrus bergamot. I talked about this a couple times before. Citrus bergamot is one of the few supplements. It's not a food source, but a supplement that uh, can actually increase HDL levels while lowering LDL and total cholesterol levels. Yeah? So that will be the first recommended supplement to keep your cholesterol in check. Then the blood pressure, well, that probably has to do mostly with correct micronutrient intake, uh, or electrolyte intake, sorry. So depending on how many electrolytes you excrete during training, uh, whether that's through uh, sodium or through, muscular or through sweating or muscular contractions, your electrolyte intake needs to be adjusted. Um, you can look at something like a potassium sodium salt, um, which still gives you enough sodium and potassium and hopefully iodine for metabolism, but doesn't increase your sodium intake too much and keeps a more favorable ratio, which can contribute to better blood, sugar, uh, blood pressure levels. Yeah? Again, magnesium, calcium, potassium all contribute to normal blood pressure levels. So as long as you manage your electrolyte intake, your blood pressure should improve. And it, those are trace minerals or minerals, electrolytes. Sodium is generally not found too much in food unless you eat pickles. Yeah. Um, most food will contain a decent amount of potassium, magnesium, or uh, calcium. And then you'll have to supplement or maybe change some food sources around to make sure you get electrolytes in the correct ratios for you. Yeah, not, not for me, for you to uh, keep your blood pressure in range and that, that requires some figuring out because you'll need to know how much electrolytes or sodium you're losing through sweating how many electrolytes you're using while training um, and how much you're getting from food and how much you need to supplement on top and you'll need to change those ratios a little bit by a little bit until it's perfect for you so i found that high potassium high magnesium intake helped for me um, while running higher dosages, but I generally don't really have blood pressure issues, um, probably because I'm also running Cialis year round, contributing to blood pressure um, management as well. If you don't want to run Cialis, look into something like a beetroot 
you know, whether that's from beets or beetroot extract uh, supplementation, beets and nitrates in the beet, um, similar to Cialis, increasing nitric oxide content of the blood actually has, you know, um, angiostein, um, I think it will, how the ACE inhibitors work, it relaxes the blood vessels. And what you can notice is that when you're training, of course, blood pressure goes up, right? So when you use a Cialis or a beetroot extract, when blood pressure goes up during a heavy intense set, you'll notice that your veins dilate to compensate for the blood pressure increase. So instead of keeping the blood under a higher pressure, the blood vessel freely dilates, getting bigger, reducing blood pressure and keeping it the same. And this is actually a very good method of controlling blood, sugar, uh, blood pressure levels because when blood, blood, my God, blood pressure, not blood sugar, when blood pressure goes up, you want to bring it down. But when blood pressure is stable, you don't want to bring it down further because now you're going to be dizzy all day. And that's the problem with some of the ACE inhibitors or stronger blood pressure medications. It lowers your blood pressure too much, um, you feel a little, bit, you know, a little bit dizzy. So you want some, like a flexible blood pressure control like a Cialis, uh, some of the weaker ACE inhibitors, that can actually um, increase elasticity of the blood vessels and then when blood pressure goes up they'll expand and when blood pressure goes down they'll contract and that's how blood pressure stays in range and that's why i feel cialis is one of the better um, supplements and calories uh, medications to use to um, control your blood pressure with especially when you take a pre-workout because generally speaking blood pressure is going to be highest during the workout especially when you do crazy heavy leg workouts yeah and if you take Instead of 5 milligrams Cialis, you might want to think about 20 milligrams of Cialis. And that's what I do. What you do is up to you. Yeah. And I think that pretty much covers it because, you know, food sources, of course, you can restrict dietary cholesterol. Um, you know, beef products like a butter, a cheese, a bone marrow, a beef tallow, all that stuff is pretty high in cholesterol. Um, shrimp is pretty high in cholesterol. Most pork products are relatively high in cholesterol, but you know, if you have like pork tenderloin three times a week and shrimp three times a week, your cholesterol levels are not going to change that much because dietary cholesterol doesn't have as much of an effect on serum cholesterol levels compared to um, uh, taking steroids that can increase cholesterol levels as long as your fiber intake is good, yeah? because fiber binds cholesterol in the intestinal tract and prevents it from absorbing or reabsorbing when it's excreted from the liver. So basically fiber and electrolytes, those are, those are the dietary restrictions and, and maybe consider eating a little bit of beet, beetroot uh, extract or um, Cialis or citrus bergamot to keep everything arranged. Um, and as long as you practice, uh, you know, a moderate to low intake of PEDs, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, no, I really don't, don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah. Again, prove that with blood work. Yeah. Blood work will tell you everything you need to know. So, hope that helps. Hope that sends you in the right direction. If anybody else has a question about cholesterol, um, blood pressure, blood work, and the relation between everything, all those details are in the group. Yeah, you can find information on how to join in the description field right below. Please send business in your uh, email or a direct message header so I know you want to join for service, uh, whether that's coaching, consultations, or the Facebook group. Please message in business so I know you want to get to work. Everybody else, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.